In this video, we are going to go over some safety rules that we will be using this year. So to start off with, I just want to remind you that you are responsible for your safety and the safety of those around you. And this is really a non-negotiable for me. So if you don't act in a safe and responsible manner, you will be asked to sit out of the lab activities, which is no fun because that's where all the fun in science is. So no horseplay, obviously. Uh, we're, we're not going to tolerate that in the classroom. And uh, let's just talk about a few general safety precautions. So as I said, no horseplay, just be really aware of who's around you and being aware of those in the space. You shouldn't be in the lab or the prep room unsupervised. So just keep that in mind. And when you're coming in for a lab, be prepared read the lab beforehand. We are going to have different mastery checks to make sure that you are prepared. So that should help you out there. No eating, drinking, chewing gum in the lab whatsoever, even if we are not doing a lab. Uh, and that's because your food can pick up harmful chemicals. Also, don't taste or directly inhale the chemicals. You want to waft if you are trying to detect an odor and we will practice wafting in many of our labs. Also, when you're doing a lab, don't sit on the lab benches. You don't know what's being on there and so you don't want it on your clothes. And you also need to stand while doing labs. I know there are stools, but um, standing is going to make it a little bit easier for us to navigate around the room. We wanna keep our work area clean, free from clutter when we are performing experiments and don't conduct anything that hasn't been authorized. And we also don't wanna bring any lighters, matches, or any other flammable materials to class because we have lots of things that can make flammable materials ignite, and so that would not be safe. Now, in terms of safety equipment, take a minute, look around the room, get to know where the fire extinguisher is, the eye wash station. We don't have a first aid kit in our room, um, but knowing where the fire exits are and what to do in the case of a fire alarm. And know that you definitely need to wear safety goggles for all experiments. So this goes whether you're doing the experiment or you're just sitting down at the desks. We do want to wear those safety goggles the entire time experiments are being performed in the room. You also want to dress appropriately during a lab. So if you have long hair, tie it back. If you have dangling jewelry, baggy clothes, you want to make sure those are secured. You don't want to have any open-toed shoes during a lab. So making sure that you have full foot coverage, that is best. And then I am going to provide you with additional safety equipment. So most of the time it's goggles, gloves, aprons and or lab coats will be worn. Now, when you're handling chemicals, all chemicals are considered to be dangerous. So don't allow them to come in contact with skin or eyes. You don't want to taste or smell any of the chemicals. And you do want to check the labels on the chemical bottles and really check it twice before taking any because you want to make sure you're taking the right thing and only take as much as you need. So if a procedure says 50 milliliters, you might take, take a little bit extra, like 55 to 60 milliliters, because sometimes we lose a little bit in between different measurements, but you don't want to be taking, say, 100 milliliters. Don't return unused chemicals to their original container. You are going to dispose of them as instructed by me. And you want to look for those WIMIS or those household hazardous product symbols on containers. We'll get more into WIMIS in the next lesson. All right, no chemicals down the drain. So we're always putting them in the appropriate waste containers. We don't want to take chemicals or any other materials out of the lab. And when we're handling glassware, now glassware, 
can get chipped, it can get cracked. Do not use anything that has chips or cracks because that means that the integrity of the glass is now being compromised. If you have and break glass during a lab, and it will happen, and that's okay, I want you to come get me, let me know, and I will come over and help clean it up. I do not want you touching broken glass, so please don't do that. You don't want to stopper a flask where gas is being cre created because it could explode and that would not be good. You want to clean and return all glassware at the end of the lab. Now, if you're heating substances, just be careful. Lighting a Bunsen burner can be a little tricky. We will practice it this year, but don't leave a heat source unattended. If you do, I will turn off your Bunsen burner on you. So, and you'll have to relight it again, which is not fun. Hot glass does not look hot. Make sure you handle heated glassware with the appropriate tongs. Don't put hot glassware in cold water. It might shatter. And when heating a test tube, always point the test tube away from yourself and others. Also, don't look into a container that's being heated. You don't know what's going to happen. It could boil up or create like a little gas pocket, spray up in your face, and that would not be good. Now, if you have any sort of accidents or injuries, let me know immediately. So it doesn't matter how minor, come and tell me. I've seen it all, I've dealt with it all, so I am very well equipped to be able to deal with these. If your chemicals get spilled on your skin, for the most part, we are not dealing with stuff that is that terrible. Start to rinse with running water and have your lab partner come get me and I will help you from there. If you get chemicals splashed in your eyes, and that should not happen because you've got your safety goggles on all the time, but if they do, and this is a good reminder for if you don't put on your safety goggles, then if you get something in your eyes, you have to rinse your eyes at the eye wash station for at least 30 minutes. I will come over and hold your eyelids open because I do not want you to lose your sight. And this is not fun because that water is supposed to be warm, but for the most part, whenever I check it, it tends to not be very warm. So this is going to be very, very uncomfortable. You do not want to be here. Um, if a chemical spilled, let me know. I'll tell you how to clean it up. Uh, if a fire stops, fire starts, sorry. You're going to let me know immediately, but if you are on fire, make sure you stop, drop, and roll. When your lab is done, you're going to clean up all your glassware, all of your materials. You're going to put everything away. When we are done a lab, those lab benches should be spotless or as spotless as they can be. We're going to wipe the lab bench down quickly with some paper towel. And then we're going to put our safety goggles away and return them to the appropriate section. And then you want to wash your hands with some soap and water. If you are not sure about something, it does not matter what, when it comes to safety, make sure you come and ask me. So that's an overview of our lab safety. You're going to now kind of take a look at our lab safety rules, our lab safety contract, and get into a little bit more detail here.